If you plan to use the welt pockets, you will also need the pocket liner and the pocket. You have two options on the welt pocket. You can do an open zipper, so it'll be a welt pocket just with an open zipper, or you can do a double welt with a zipper or just a double welt. You could do all three options. So we'll walk through all those as well. So I'm gonna remark on the right side of the shorts. Just make sure I know where that location is. And the pocket needs to go there as well. So just to help me get it right, I lay the pattern piece down on the pocket and then I can lay the pocket down on top of that. And then I pin right through the center and then you can pull the pattern piece off. And then this is the square that we're actually going to sew. So I'm gonna mark it real well. Cause I wanna make this as accurate as possible. We're gonna do the same thing for the other side. this I usually start somewhere along the straight edge not right at the corner that way when I sew and turn the corner I can leave my needle down and then come back up I feel like you get a more accurate corner when you do it that way so I start somewhere up top along the straight edge Now we're gonna cut through the opening. So just cut through the center, be real careful. When you get towards the end, cut very carefully at a 45 degrees out to the corner as close to your stitching as possible without cutting the stitching. And do the same for the other corner. The closer you get, to clipping the corners, the better looking rectangle you're gonna have. Okay, so now that we have pressed this opening into a nice rectangle, you can make one of three pockets or options for this. If you're doing the open zipper, you will place the zipper right side down into that opening and you can use pins or pressure tape to center it on the opening. And then you just stitch around the rectangle to secure it. Your other option is the double welt with or without the zipper. So if you're making that option, after you've pressed it open, you're gonna take half of this back to the center. And this halfway towards the center. So they meet in the middle. You 
double check it on the other side. Make sure they're even. Oh, I lucked out, those are pretty good. Give it an extra press. Now, if you're just doing the double welt, the hard part's done. You're just going to tack that and make sure it stays put. And again, sew around the exterior or the outer edge of that rectangle. If you're doing the double welt with the zipper, all that step is just the same. Bring it into the halfway, take your zipper, face down, center it on the opening, pin it. Again, stitch all the way around. One thing I want to know, my zipper was too long, so I just cut it off at the bottom. You can add a zigzag stitch over the teeth um, if you want to make it extra secure, but just sewing across the bottom should help, should be enough. All that beautiful top stitching and I caught the pocket in <laughs> the top stitching so I'm gonna unpick that and then um, just redo that portion So we're doing good. We've got that in. Now I'm gonna take the other pocket or the pocket liner. We're doing the double welt with the zipper. So we're gonna place that on there and we're gonna stitch all the way across the top, down around the curve and across the bottom. <laughs> 